That's ex- well. Oh, you don't say that. Oh, we don't say that, but you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when uh, we're talking to uh, Donald Trump's uh, Russian overseers, you may as well speak in the original language. Yeah. So. <laughs> so Malcolm. Uh, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Putin. Putin is prepared to press Biden on the human rights of Capitol rioters when they meet this month in Switzerland. Uh, oh, Lavrov. It's that guy again. Yeah, that guy. Oh gosh. He's popping up. Yeah, he said alleged rioters are being persecuted. That's weird because that's what Paul Gosar and a lot of the other insurrectionists that helped the uh, Capitol rioters say. Uh, that Putin will turn the tables on Biden over U.S. support for Russian dissidents such as uh, Alexei Navalny, uh, who he poisoned. Uh, Malcolm, your thoughts? Go. I have a <laughs> fantasy that's going through my head where, where uh, Joe Biden meets Vladimir Putin. And later on, they released the readout of that meeting. Yeah. And it will, you know, where Vladimir Putin comes up and says, you are oppressing the insurrectionists who tried to liberate themselves from your evil doings. Uh, You should, we should prosecute you in the human rights court. Yeah. Whatever. You know, the one that we should say to him. I have this fantasy that all the readout says is, Ha 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 what you are looking at here, this is old school. This is not even Russian. This is Soviet in how they they would turn these these things that would occur in the United States like civil protests. Yeah. Um, you know, and now what the Russians are vying for is the option of being able to say that they are championing the white nationalist and pro-Trump QAnon crazies that stormed the citadel of democracy. Now, it should be no surprise, Vladimir Putin himself said three years ago, and you might recall on this show, we had a big, long, laughable discussion about it, where he said, liberal democracy in the West is dead. It's a failed ideology. This guy is gonna push that left and right. He is trying to do two things, one, co-opt co-opt the love and admiration of all of these white nationalists don't forget the texas secessionist movement leader moved to moscow the california secessionist movement leader moved to moscow richard spencer the head of the neo-nazis has a russian wife and lives in the and stays in the apartment of david duke the head of the ku klux klan who has an apartment in moscow Is there anything here I haven't quite made clear? White nationalism has a second home in Moscow. And they are now playing to this. They are playing to the Trump adoration, the Trump love. And in no time, people will say, well, that Vladimir Putin is not a bad guy. He loves Trump. And he's looking out for our human rights. Oh, my God. I I won't laugh for two minutes, so I'll just cut it off now. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But I mean, I, it really is infuriating when you, you know, it is. I mean, particularly when I, it, tell us what's happening. Clearly, Russia is stepping up all these attacks right on the colonial pipeline, the meat plant before this meeting with Biden. Right. I mean, and uh, and uh, I'm trying to think what the oh Microsoft talking about other hacking from the same the solar winds people. Correct. Look, well, you, the, the colonial pipeline has proved that you can now blackmail them and get an easy five million bucks. Because they paid them off. They paid them off like within a day or so. Right. That that whole time that they were waiting was was for them to get the keys uh, to the to the encryption and then to get the system back online. So this stuff pays. These guys are vigilante activist uh, criminals who work for the Kremlin. 
They are not allowed to run around in Russian computers without the Kremlin knowing. And don't forget, these are the people who actually wrote into their code it would not work on keyboards that operated in Russian Cyrillic, yeah. which means half of Eastern Europe would not be infected by this code. It only worked on QWERTY computers. Yeah. So Russia uses hacking, cyber criminals, uh, nationalistic vigilantes, you know, uh, you know, to do two things, steal and smear. And that's why whenever they have an opposition leader, whenever someone pops up, the first thing you hear is this. He had child porn on his computer. Yeah. Which they use to 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 arrest you, which they put it on there. Of course they did. This this is not just a bunch of amateurs. This is Russia's National Security Agency doing this at a strategic level for strategic so, objectives of the Kremlin. So what do we do? Uh, the White House said JBS, no, the meat, uh, you know, the largest meat packing plant or, mm-hmm. or uh, meat, sorry, uh, producer. Uh, JBS notified the administration that the ransom demand came from a criminal organization likely based in Russia. The White House is engaging directly with the Russian government on this matter, delivering the message responsible states do not harbor ransomware criminals. Well, we know they're not a responsible state but so what what right. do we do about it what is what do you think biden's going to do what do you think he's going I, to say i think that infrastructure attacks on uh, large on large um sectors of the american economy and it's not that it's one meat packing plant it right. will be all the meat packing plants this is designed to measure the inf- the, the the disruption effect on the supply chain look I've said this before. I will say it again. These are intelligence community based activities. These this is a country that doesn't have, you know, we might have, a, a you know, a few hundred Russian linguists in the armed forces. They have tens of thousands of English linguists and they will probe every corner of our society. They steal academic papers to understand us. This is not checkers for them. OK. This is 11 dimensional chess for them because their strategic objectives of their nation state, of the Kremlin, is to make money, disable America. You want it, you know, and they did it. They literally hijacked the minds of 40 percent of the American electorate. Well, and they took their minds. 71, 74 million people will believe the Kremlin than believe someone in the democratic party how did this happen to to donald you know or excuse me to ronald reagan's party right to how i mean Uh, not only do they appear to be russian disinformation agents but you're right they are (laughs) pro-russia i mean ted cruz is tweeting you know basically you know in praise of the russian military and calling our military pansies Uh, tucker carlson just said our military doesn't seem interested in defending the country anymore like what, how did it's they just, go to this troop attacking, Russia loving party? I mean, your thoughts. Look, these people are they're, they're not they are not patriots. OK, right. what they are. And, and it was Joy. or no, it was Joe Scarborough who said America has now broken down into three three parties. The Democratic Party. What's left of the small R Republican Party like Scarborough and Philip Crystal and all those which are a few thousand people, and the insurrectionist party, a party that now believes in coup d'etats, a part w- which we, we've seen. Let me tell you, I've been hearing this coup insurrection. Trump needs to, to invoke the insurrectionist act. Trump needs to overthrow the government. Trump needs to seize power and stay in power. That is dictatorial. And I just finished this new book, which soon will be announcing the title and the artwork, that uh, about these people want a coup d'etat in yeah. the United States. They want to seize power and keep power for one man and one purpose only. Yeah, this is activated white nationalist fascism. Shouldn't and Michael I think Flynn we're be somewhere around 1935 right now? Shouldn't... We just haven't invaded the Sudetenland. Yeah, shouldn't the first step be that Michael Flynn gets called back and court-martialed? I mean, he he clearly said it should happen here. However, he's trying to backtrack. He said the coup in uh, Myanmar. 
<laughs> Minamar. Minamar. Right. I mean, Minamar. Minamar. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and how do you get it? Uh, can I ask you a question? How do you get, I don't care if he's an old timer, how do you get a guy who comes in in a ha- ha- baseball hat who says he's a Marine? Yeah. A Marine who swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States going, how come we just can't overthrow the Constitution of the United States like they did in communist run Burma? Myanmar. Yeah. And learn how to pronounce it. This is a Q to, this is a QAnon conspiracy. They yeah. went nuts after the Burmese coup d'etat on, on the Q forums and on the Trump forums going, why can't we do that? The entire premise of, of part of QAnon is this thing, the storm, where they have this Tom Clancy like fantasy where they're going to mass murder every Democrat in America on a single day. Look, Timothy McVeigh, when he when he lived out the Turner Diaries and killed 186, uh, 186 ma- Americans, he wasn't trying to kill millions of us and then had the buy-in of the leading political party. This is insanity. And for that guy to have gotten up there, I wish the media would go to his house every day and go, how do you juxtapose saying you're a Marine advocating the destruction of American democracy yeah. and the overthrow so, of American power? So where are you? Uh, Speaker Pelosi re- reportedly laid oh, out geez, several thanks. options for how to proceed with a 1-6 investigation. You're obviously also a terrorism expert, in addition to Russia expert. Um, after Senate Republicans tanked the proposed bipartisan commission, um, she laid out four options. First is to actually uh, push for another Senate vote to create the outside commission. Um, that's an unlikely option right now. Second is creating a select committee. Third is to allow congressional committees to continue their investigations. The fourth is to empower a single committee that already exists and make that committee in charge of the January 6th commission. What what do you favor? Well, I, I, I clearly favor that um, there should be another Senate vote. And I'm in the camp that a Senate vote should be held every day Okay. on this. And make and them make no them do a talking bas- filibuster at least, right? Make them do a talk. I don't understand Chuck Schumer. Yeah. I don't understand him. He will not do anything right now. He won't go back to this. I mean, we should be calling his office. We should be blowing up his phone okay. and saying, keep the filibuster, but restore it to what it was. Right. Which means... When Ted Cruz stops talking and passes out and starts dreaming of flying off to Cancun, that's it. It gets its vote. Why can he not do what Mitch McConnell did for for Supreme Court justices, yeah. saying, I'm changing the standard. I have the right as the Speaker of the House or the, the leader of the Senate to do that. Yeah. How come he can't do you know what they did for federal judges? This is American for, and also for the Voting Rights Act. This is american democracy we are back to where we were on 2 november we are literally yeah. getting ready to teeter on the edge of destroying democracy again and i'm well, going to quote jason johnson when he said this two weeks ago i think it's the most profound thing that's been said it's been co-opted by other people since then they will win the house in 2022 because we did not turn out the congressional vote, everyone just came to vote Trump out. And the Republicans took 11 seats from us. The margin now, I think, is seven, even though, you know, seven seats. Then the Biden administration took three or four congressmen out of their seats, opening them up to special elections. Yeah. I mean, we lose in 2022. January 2023, this will happen. They will impeach Joe Biden on day one. Yeah. And they will impeach. I've already seen them say it. They'll impeach Joe Biden and Kamala Harris on day one and will keep impeaching them. Then they will never allow anything to happen. They will never certify another election. 